I got a question recently about the Tanager displays and how do we change the templates. Um, Tanager is a company that allows us to have a TV in the library. It shows various advertisements, but it also allows us for free to be able to put up uh, our own advertisements, such as our weekly schedule or events that we've got going on. So you can see here I've got a total of 10, nine of which are only internal to the library. They only show up here. But then the last one also shows up on various uh, displays around town, wherever they might have another tanger display. To edit those, generally speaking, you wind up going into a template, and you add your text, and you add your body here. And that winds up being basically a title and a body. Now, uh, But it's kind of limited. Um, so for me, I wanted to have a lot more flexibility. They actually provide some default backgrounds, unlike this one. Um, this is one of mine that you can put in here that will have some white space in it um, that the text would go on top of. That way you can make the text fairly clear. Now, I wasn't content with that. I wanted to be able to put the text where I wanted it. I wanted to add as much text as I wanted or take out text without having to have all the, the kludginess of these little text boxes over here to enter stuff in. So the way you do that is you actually wind up just changing your background. In this case, I've got my Lego Club background, or I could have Game On, or any of my other backgrounds that I've put in here, and I just leave these things blank. And so whatever image I've created is where the text actually comes from. So if I go to the Media Library, you can see in here that I've got a whole list of my current backgrounds. So Story Hour, for example, um, or, you know, again, Full Steam Ahead, etc., etc. And you can see down here the default ones that they gave me that have some white space in them, right in here, where your text would normally go, your, your banner would normally go up in this green area, your text in this area, and then you'd have a nice, you know, little picture there. Again, I, I wasn't content, content with that. I wanted to be able to customize it much more. So what I did is I started uploading my own JPEGs. Now, I'm just going to switch screens here real quick. Here you can see... Uh, Affinity Photo, which is a photo editor that I use. You can use anything from paint to whatever thing you want that's out there. But in Affinity Photo, let me get this out of the way here. Um, I basically made a uh, screen that is 1,200 pixels by 900 pixels. So 1,200 wide, 900 tall. That is the size of the images that go on our Tanitra display. Uh, and so then I can just basically manipulate this however I want. In this case, I've got a text box here that has um, the dates were uh, the week before Soybean Festival here, so we've got nothing going on. Um, otherwise, often I'll have like two columns. I'll have a common column here and a column here with all of our events. And because it's Soybean Festival, I chose to have a soybean image here on the side with soybean milk behind it. And this is the background picture that we would be using for this week. All I do when I'm done making that picture, and again, you'll have to image, edit your own image and whatever program you want to, is I'm going to export this. And I'm going to save it as a JPEG. And again, it's 1,200 pixels by 900 pixels. Uh, quality, I just do 100%. Export. And then I'm going to simply go over to Graphics, Coming Up. 2018, and for my purposes, I keep all of my, my historic ones, and we go in here, and this is for, let's see, it's the 24th, so it's going to start the 27th, A 2718, save, and now I've got a JPEG. I come back over to Tanager's website, I go to Upload New, that brings up this little box, Upload New, and then I simply go to the same spot. Graphics, um, coming up, 2018, and here we go. Open, gives it a couple seconds in here, it uploads it, and now it is in my library. Now I can go to edit my templates, and this is one of the templates I will have this on. Change that from what it was. I've now selected my new background image, and there's my new background image. I'm also going to go back and do the same thing. Um, after I've submitted it, I simply go back. You have to hit back twice, which is kind of annoying, but I have that also here on number five. 
that way it cycles around. And now I've got that image showing up on the screen twice in its rotation, whereas some things only show up once. So if I go back, I can take a look at, again, something like um, slide 7 here is our Lego Club. Um, slide 8, I believe, is our printing. No, that's Mommy and Me. And so forth. As you go through, there's our, our printing services. And all that shows up nice and big on the uh, the actual TV upstairs uh, that all this is going through. So that's kind of how I wind up making my images and, and being able to fully customize uh, what Tantra has given us. Um, and it's just it's very useful uh, to do it this way rather than just having plain text on a plain image uh, the way that they initially intended it. Um, so that's pretty much the way that works. By the way, most of the images I get, um, I get for free from a place called Unsplash. And all I do when I go to Unsplash is I simply go up here and I search for something. In this case, you can see my search results for soybean. All these images are licensed to be used for whatever. Download for free, do whatever you want, as opposed to doing a Google image search or something like that, where it might be you might be taking someone's copyright written image. So all these have been submitted to Unsplash for free. And I can put in something here like books and get all kinds of images. And then I simply look for something that has a nice large amount of white space that I can go ahead and use uh, to be able to put on um, my display. Or this would be a great image, particularly for you know winter, fall, somewhere in that area. I've got a lot of clean space that I can have text show up really well on the image. So that's how I wind up uh, doing this and, and making our uh, images and getting them uploaded on Tanager.